thank you for our service thus far. We praise you for uh, who you are in each of our lives. Lord, we ask that you would say a word to us in these few minutes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we acknowledge that we need you in everything we do. Lord, we acknowledge that we are nothing without you. We thank you for salvation today. We thank you for knowing you today in the name of Jesus. Let your word today fall on good ground. Be so careful uh, to give you all the praise and to give you all the glory. And Lord, you are the only one that's worthy. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah to somebody. Hallelujah to somebody. Hallelujah to somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me say this also on our calendar. I want to uh, say our men's group meeting will be, amen, at 6 o'clock, amen, on the 11th. So all men of New Bethel, as you heard the first lady say, if you say I'm your pastor, I'm expecting to see you uh, Saturday at 6 p.m. Amen. Amen. Uh, briefly to the word of the Lord, uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, Chapter 15, and we will look at verse number 10. It's 1 Corinthians 15 and 10. Amen. 1 Corinthians 15 and 10. Read that, Elder. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, I am what I am. I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. I want to, you may be seated, I want to use what thought today briefly to help you along your way. With the Lord and serving the Lord, and I believe that uh, if you take this model uh, with you uh, the rest of the year, it will help you out in a lot of situations. My topic for today, I will use: put up a shut up. That 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 will help you uh, the rest of the year. Uh, we have we have came over. Uh, into 2014 and hopefully some of us will learn as we continue to follow the Lord that you have to understand in life that you can relieve yourself of a lot of headaches if you start telling people to put up or shut up. A lot of you have wasted a lot of time in 2013 putting up with folk that ain't doing that. I ain't going to get no help right here. Right. Uh, you, you, you done called them. You done, you done begged them. You done pleaded them. You done done everything with them. But if you take this thought this year, tell them to put up or shut up. I, I promise you, they'll leave you alone. If, if, if they ain't bringing nothing to the meeting, I ain't got time for you. See, time is winding up lightning period. And you and I do not have time to deal with folk that don't want to go nowhere. I said again, we don't have time to be putting up folk that don't want to go nowhere. Yeah. Let me help you out. You can be poor by yourself. Yeah. You don't need no help with that. Amen. But if you're trying to do something in life, you need folk that's going to be with you, to go with you, to help you out. So to, to, to get rid of all this chaos with people, when they call you, if it's in a relationship, you say, baby, put up or shut up. If, if you say, baby, I love you, it's baby, put up or shut up. Amen. To, to, and, and it'll save you a whole lot of stress. Because talk ain't never bought nothing. If, if you say you love me, put up That's right. or shut up. Yeah. <laughs> y'all look at me. I wish I could look at some of y'all. Y'all look at me all my crazy. But I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. If, if somebody say they want to be with you, just yeah. tell them, put up or shut up. If, if somebody says they're going to help you out, tell them to put up or shut up. You, I'm trying to save you a lot of time, a lot of talking. A lot of time we spend more time with a lot of words and they don't mean nothing. But action always.
always speak louder yeah, no, than words of So this year, I, I don't care if you're going out to dinner and they say they got the bill, tell them, say, look here, if you're going to buy the steak, put up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Amen. Quit, quit wasting a lot of words on, on something that don't mean nothing. Yeah. Amen. See, just, just tell them that. If, 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 if you're married and they don't like it, say, honey, put up. I shut up. The older I get, the more or less I want to talk in a few yeah. things. Because a lot of people just saying a whole lot of words and just talking a whole lot of mango. Your actions is going to determine what you really say you're going to do. Amen. A lot of folk talk a good talk, but ain't nothing behind they talk. Amen. Come on now. So just tell them, say, put up. I shut up. I shut up. If if you say I'm your friend, on, put up. I shut, shut up. All right. You don't have to waste a whole lot of time. If, if if you say you love your kid, tell them to buy diapers and put up. I shut up. I shut up. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> if they say if they say they love you and you shot a hundred on the rent, tell them to put up. Shut up. I shut up. You ain't saying nothing but just wasting Amen. a bunch of time. Amen. It, 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 do y'all know it take money to buy land? Amen. Be like the two men that was that was that was, that was out to buy some land, and, and the man called the other man. He said, "Sir, my name is Bob, and I see that your land is for sale." And the man said, "Yes, it is for sale." He said, "I want to let you know, sir, before I come over to there to inspect the land and buy the land, I want you to know that I'm a black man." The white man said, "Sir, I don't care what color you are. Just tell me what color is your money." Put up. Put up. Put up. A shut up. We, you, right now, I'm trying to help some of y'all out here. You you can get rid of a whole lot of kinfolk. Yeah. I can't, some can't folk get on my nerve. Yeah. They just. Come on. Just talk and ain't saying nothing. They lie a lot. They say they come in, they never show up. They say they're going to help out. They never pitch in. And we just, some, some of us just so gullible, we go back and believe that same old story again. If you lie to me two or three times, you Most you likely you're going to lie to me again. Yeah. I'm trying to help some of y'all here. I'm trying to help. I mean, you got to get to a point in your life where you ain't got time for, for I love you, but I love you far off. Because what Ella Davis told me, he said, son, when your word ain't no good, you ain't no good. Amen. A lot of people, they just talk a whole lot of words. And they and, and they good with it. Some folk is so convincing what they talk, they'll have you believe anything, but behind their words is nothing to it. Amen. They talk a real good game. Real good game. But tell them, show me some actions. Amen. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, love is deeds and actions. So just tell them, say, put up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Uh, we, we ain't got time for all the pretty good stuff you're saying. I'm trying to help some of y'all here. Because some of y'all still dealing with some stuff, some residue from 13. Amen. They say they still, they, right now, they still owe you money and you, and you still believe they're going to pay you. <laughs> Amen. I'll say it again. They still owe you money from 2013, maybe longer than that. And you still believe every time you see them, they say, I'm going to pay you. And you still walk around believing that lie. Come on now. Just, I'm, I'm helping y'all. Read my lips. They ain't gonna pay you. Just, just, just chalk it up as experience and move on in life. It, it, it'll save you a whole lot of heartaches. It'll save you a lot of heartburn. It'll save, I'm trying to help y'all today. It, it'll save you a whole lot of stuff because they ain't gonna do it. Don't even believe that. They ain't going to do it. They ain't even 
coming to the meeting and they know when the meeting is. All right. Come on, Pastor. And we just sit there. They coming. Send your word, Jesus. Send your word. They coming. Look here. Uh -huh. If a person ain't made it to the meeting 20 after, most likely they probably ain't coming. Oh, Amen. <laughs> you know, y'all would get somebody grace period. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes. You know, you, you, you just get five minutes, right? Yeah. Now, you don't been waiting 30 minutes, and you still, and some of us, we so dope, we still look out the door. <laughs> in your word. Come on now. Read about this. They ain't coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they ain't coming. So, I'm just trying to help you out here this year to just get this, to relieve yourself a whole lot of stress. Just tell them, say, put up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I mean, you can, you know, you know, you know, do it in love, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't get, don't get, you know, the rock ready. I said, no, I don't do it that way. You know, you know be nice. Say, Pookie. Ray, Ray. Y'all know we got those names. Sequita. Sequika. Shanika. You know we got those, you know. It's like now, it's like I'll give you an example, I'll give you an right here. Right now, we we we're ready to push forth in 2014 for the youth thing. We don't need a lot of talk, we need money. Amen. All right. Speaking right. Sure All right. We don't need a we don't need a lot of talk, we just need money. Amen. Bring it, bring it. Give me an envelope real fast, Ursa. Hurry up, hurry up. Make it fast, make it fast, make it fast. Give me an envelope real fast. Just, just, just put what you're going to put on the envelope and you make the plans, put it on there. But we don't need a whole bunch of talk and, and well, I'm waiting on, everybody waiting on the check. Just put the money in there. And, and, and we don't need to celebrate you, gave it, you just make it, put it in there and be done with it. Amen. And, 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 and come the end of the year, we know whether or not did you put up or shut up. All right. Never in my life I've seen so many empty envelopes come to the office. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. You know, keep it real church. I said just wasted all my money. All the envelopes. I, <laughs> I guess I guess they don't, you know, they don't want to be looked like they're outcasts, so they just grab them like everybody else. Everybody in my left stand, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all I said, look here, I ain't never like I seen so many empty envelopes come to the office. about maybe fifteen hundred dollars. That's what the base dollars cost us. Well I'm only counting see well, let me have some of you see I'm missing some of y'all are here back. We only count what's in the envelope. Now what you gave on the side you can put your name on the fui on that. That don't mean nothing. If you want to say what you gave or you think you gave more than that that's what church envelopes are for. I don't know how many times I've preached this in church. That's where we get put your name on your envelope and your batch number, and that's where you get counted for. Now, if you gave out outside of that, that's your business. Mm -hmm. 
And if you want to be recognized, you got to put it in this. That's why. I'm not talking about what you gave on the outside. I'm talking about you want to get recognized with this church and this ministry, I need it in here. Every nickel, every dime, every penny. That's showing me that you're putting up and you ain't shutting up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? In life. So just take that model with you. It, 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 it'll help you out in life. It, it'll help you out in life. Let me, let me help you out again. In my profession that I work in, my job calls me to put up or shut up. Amen. If someone, there's some jobs that you can flake on, mm. <laughs> that you can get by on. But in my profession, you can't say you fix something that's still not working. Amen. 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 If you call me to your house and you say your apartment and you say your garbage disposal is not working, and I said I went there and fixed it, and you get home and turn it off, it's not working, that means I didn't fix it. Or you call me and say your sink is backed up and I said I went and unclogged your sink but your sink is still clogged. That means I didn't fix it. That's if you call me and say your mailbox lock is not working and I said I'm fixing you stick the key in there again it's not going to mean I didn't fix it. Yes. Do y'all not know paper trail is very important? Yeah. 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 Paper trail. The average person get in trouble because they ain't got no paper trail. Yeah, that's right. My God. Oh, sure. hey, I tell people my job, I'm trying to help you out. The message is still put up or shut up. No. I tell people my job, don't stop me in the parking lot and tell me what's wrong in your apartment yeah. or put a work order in. Why, why do you think what pastor, why are you telling me a work order? A work order holds me accountable. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. You can tell me all day your sink is broke. I say, yeah, that's good. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> well, I told Joseph, yeah, he did tell me, but you didn't get it on paper. All right. All right. All right. Amen. I'm not held accountable before it's not on paper. Yeah. That's why paper is very important. Amen. Paper trail. Paper trail don't lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. Most people get in trouble with the IRS because they ain't got no paper trail. Yeah. My God. Read that now. Don't ever throw your tax forms away. Amen. That's right. If you got to put them up in the attic, put all of them up in the attic. Yes. You don't never know. You got to go back and get it. If you ain't got no documentation and they say you owe them $500, if you ain't got no documentation, you're going to pay that $500. Amen. But if you got documentation, you can pull it out and show it to them. Mm -hmm. Put up a shirt. Hey, I don't throw no receipts away. I got a box full of receipts. None, especially with those that really mean something. Yeah. You're a pack rat, call it what you want to call it. Yeah. I bet you if they come for me, they're going to say, I got a, I got a receipt for it. Amen. Keep it. Build you a file cabinet where you got it at. Because you don't never know when you're going to. And if you got to pay child support, you better keep a receipt. That's right. Let me help some of y'all here this morning. Let me help y'all real quick. Even though we're in an electronic age, I'm old fashioned. Amen. Come on now. I like a piece of paper. Amen. Where I can put my hand on it. Where I can see it with my own two eyes. Some folks say, email the receipt. No, I'll put my receipt in my hand. Amen. It may get lost in the shelf in the computer system. The computer may crash. I always get you a carbon copy. My, somebody wrote a song, Mama Love a Child? This guy is on. Nobody like y'all know that record. Y'all ain't that sanctified. Yeah. <laughs> That's in every area. I like a person tell you they're going to lose weight, but instead they're going to Krispy Kreme. Krispy <laughs> <laughs> Kreme is good, man. I'm going to. I'm going to. I told y'all this once before. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let you. I told y'all this once before. Krispy Kreme is good. That, 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 some of you, I, I lied to myself every Monday. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you 
never lie to yourself. Amen. I lied to myself every Monday, and I had to finally wake up to realize that I was lying to myself. I'm trying to help some of y'all here this morning. I kept telling myself after every meal I ate on Sunday, I said, I'm going on a diet on Monday. I did that for a while. I did that for a while. I had to come to the conclusion that I had to quit lying to myself. I was not through eating what I was going to eat. But I would tell myself, I'm going on a diet on Monday. I'm going to change my eating habits. I'm going to do this. Come Monday, get in my car driving to some odd reason and end up at the donut shop. It's like the car had, I'm just, now I'm going to do it now, I'm going to tell you, like the car had GPS on it. <laughs> I'm trying to help some of y'all. Because when you say you're going to do something, you got to put up shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know, it's like people, some of you got, got, got membership to a gym and you ain't been all in 2000, you ain't went by the gym. All right. You just gave them people 25 or 30 40 a month that you could have been putting that in the office. That's right. Come on. And Pastor. And we at least would have gave you some chicken. Because you didn't go. You can't tell me that you're going to a place every week and there's nothing happening. It's true. Amen. That's true. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get where you get it. Something's going to happen. You're going to lose weight somewhere in your finger, in your toe. Somewhere. Something's going something gonna to fall off. You cannot tell me that. Why? Because I know that. Yeah. Now, let me help you out here. I done slacked off for about the past three or four weeks. I was working out regularly. And I could see it, I could see it falling off. Me, you have to tell me, I could see it falling off of me. I could tell the way my pants are stuffed in. I said, okay, but for some odd reason, I backslid again. So I said, I gotta get back on my program again. Amen. Donovan Kirkin ain't got nothing on me. I fall down. Get on it. Hey, yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Yeah. Work it out. Yeah. 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 Come on. You got to do it. Come on. 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 The problem is if I fall down and just say, Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Then I'll be like that one lady y'all seen on YouTube about that. Why? Then they get a chainsaw and cut the wall. I even told my wife, she won't do it though. I even told my wife, look here, I'm still talking about put up and shut up. I told my wife, I said, Marguerite, if I get that big, shoot me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just boom! <laughs> put up, shut up. That's what they think in life. Anything in life. You either do it or you ain't gonna do it. That ain't talk ain't never done nothing. Yeah, talk is cheap. Wasted words. Wasted words. That's why when the Bible tells us, and I'm gonna let you go, I know I said that twice. Uh but I tell you, be careful that when you make a vow. That's right. Because when you vow to do something, you're bound by that vow that you said. That's why you don't make one and you, you're not going to fulfill it. That's why I don't believe in a resolution. Oh, I don't believe in a resolution. Because I know me. I know me. I'm not going to keep that. I'm not going to keep that. 
no matter, Steve, no matter how much, I'm going to watch my weight, read my list. I'm going to eat me a donut. <laughs> Ain't no sense of lying to yourself. Just be real with yourself. I'm going to eat a me a Snickers candy bar. And I'm still lying to myself. I'm going to buy me a ho ho. A ho Especially when I work a little overtime. Did you say what? 
She said, no, nah, I ain't going there. See, she's trying to get me to go there. I ain't going there. I'm going to stay in my lane. They focus on me. I ain't going to bite that. Seriously. I'm telling you something that will work. This will work. But then you gotta you gotta have some tenacity to, to say it to somebody. Well, I don't want to hurt their feelings. They've been my friend for a long time. Well, if they've been your friend for a long time, and y'all go out to eat every Friday, every Friday you pay for a meal. Yeah, hello, man, come on. I wonder is that really a friend or is that a bitch? Wait, wait up. Yeah. Let me and my wife go out to eat. She pay. I'll pay. Amen. And sometimes I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. She pay. Just wear it out. Just wear it out. You don't have to get you don't have to get nasty with nobody. You don't have to get out of your character. You don't have to get out of who you are. Just wait. Just wait. And you'll see in life if a person's putting up or shutting up. Because being friends and being friendly with somebody should be balanced. Amen. It should be balanced. It should be balanced. It should be, balanced. It should be what side? Amen. It should be what side? So, Lord, I'm going to let you go. So Lord, we thank you today. We hope that we said something uh, today to help someone along their way. We come to be a help and not a hindrance. Hope that these words that we spoke in this house today fell on good ground. Trusting that it will yield forth a harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Most of all, Lord, we ask that you would save someone. That you would draw someone to come into a relationship with you, Jesus. We just don't want to come to church, but we want to have a relationship with you, Lord. Amen. Lord, we ask that you will save our young people. Give them a mind to be saved. In the name of Jesus. Continue to bless them and strengthen them. While they're on the school grounds. While they're moving through their daily activities. Do this, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Then we pray for the sick. That you will touch and that you will give them deliverance.